business owner, from being a recreational pilot to a part-time commercial owner operator. Again, my name is Dan Tartaglia, and um, the company is called Drillability. I grew up, I, I, I live in Columbus, Ohio, and I grew up in Philadelphia, so if I have that accent, I don't know why. Um, I have a full-time job at an architectural firm in, in Dallas, Texas. Um, uh, so I work completely remote. So it's good, it's good to be, but it's good because my time is flexible. So I can do drone jobs during the day and actually pick up my time and lay in the weekends, which is very really nice, to be honest. That's one reason why I, I, got, I, got, I took the program. I do my three tools from the architects to make it more efficient, that kind of thing. Started flying in 2020 as a recreational pilot. I, my first drone was a piece of crap that always took off for me, you know, cost 50 bucks. One day I just threw the dumpster. And went to Best Buy and bought a button there too. And never look back. Um, I'm not going to lie here on DJI. All my drones are DJI. And I'm not saying other drone companies aren't good. I just, they're my, they're my go to. I'm not to get it. I'm not part 107 in 2021, late 2021. Um, I use the Apollo Institute, by the way, to get the train for it. Uh, really good. It teach you a lot of information if you want to get a part 107. And I trademarked my company with Trademark Engine in 2022. So the top three takeaways of today are really good skills to learn and demonstrate to yourself and others. And by others, I mean potential clients. Because you need to be, you, to, you really have to show the clients you know what you're doing. Promoting yourself and your business with confidence. Again, it also involves clients. Um, a lot of times clients fly, are with you when you're flying them. They have to see you know what you're doing. How to continually grow as a pilot and a small business owner. So, if you're going to start your own business or start working as a part 107, you should stick with what's in your wheelhouse initially. Um, my, my, for me, it's photography, um, it's real estate photography initially. Um, because you want to gain confidence and experience and jobs in what you know and what you can do initially and build up that confidence so that you can move on to other things, right? So, whatever industry you're in, Start, start with that type of work. It could be anything. You work in work construction, you can do any other types of work that I don't do with your architectural firm. So stay in your real house until you're ready to move on to something harder or different to make more money. 